What's up guys and it's time to talk about the next evolution from Huawei. Huawei has been through a lot this year. This year has been the most toughest for them ever. Despite all the hardness, the recent revenue of Huawei has improved with about 24.4% growth in China in revenue and about 60 plus commercial 5G contracts. Recently Germany agreed with the Huawei 5G testing and along with this Huawei has shipped 185 million smartphones in the first three quarters of the year which gave the company a solid year on year increase of 26%. Now these numbers are before the launch of the Mate 30 Pro which is the first smartphone that has been really affected by this whole Google ban. The Mate 30 family is extremely popular in China and doing pretty well and as long as it keeps doing well in China Huawei will bring more innovation to its next flagship beast. Now before I get into this video furthermore I just want to remind you that I will be announcing the giveaway winner towards the end of the video so make sure to stay tuned till the end. With that being said the next big thing from Huawei is definitely the P40 Pro. Huawei is gearing up for a big design change this time as well as introducing its own Harmony OS on board. We've talked about it before what it offers it's an open source software and it uses microkernel architecture if you want to see a detailed video on this the link is down below in the description. Right now there is some good news US is approving license to do business with Huawei only for some selective companies with business that don't impose any threat. It's not been revealed which of these firms will be allowed but seems like Google might not be on the list meaning there will still be no Google services for Huawei phones in the future and if that happens Huawei is going all out. Huawei is going all out with its Harmony OS. As the CEO himself Richard Yu said during IFA 2019 press conference that by early next year Huawei will launch its Harmony OS smartphone. Not only to its smartphone it's coming to smartwatches as well as their laptops. He further said that their Harmony OS is ready for smartphone use but they are not using it right now because they're still waiting for the US government to let them use Android. If they're not allowed, they're definitely going to go with their Harmony OS. The first smartphone that could use Harmony OS is the Huawei P40 series, which is scheduled to come in March of 2020. And following this story, we have a new leak from a Twitter leakster, Rodan. He says that Huawei P40 Pro will rock Android and Harmony OS as dual boot softwares. I gotta say, this is a smart move from Huawei. They're pushing users to use their Harmony OS and at the same time have Android as a backup. Obviously the Android which they're gonna use won't be having Google services so it's still going to be open version of Android but it's still better to have Android rather than just not having it at all. This is indeed a safe move from Huawei since Harmony OS is a super new like a baby born software and it's gonna compete out there with the likes of Android and iOS so it's gonna be really tough. So I can definitely see how Huawei can go with this solution. According to the founder of Huawei, the Harmony OS will take about two to three years to compete with iOS. He says that it might not take that long but that's what they realistically think about when it comes to competing against Android and iOS domination. Another statistic report says that Harmony OS can capture about 5% of the market globally by the end of 2020. The sales have been good in China which is why Huawei will bring innovations regardless of what US says or does because Huawei is strong in the biggest smartphone market which is China. Now as for the design, the P40 family is expected to rock punch hole OLED display according to some rumors but with the recent patent things might go to an insane level for the design. Out comes the patent for an under screen front camera. We talked about Samsung also working on their under display camera phone next year. Xiaomi and Oppo is doing this as well and now Huawei. Apparently that's the big goal for these companies next year. It will be exciting to see who wins this race. Anyways the patent describes a Huawei phone with a complete hidden camera as well as a front LED indicator right under the screen where the status bar is towards the middle of it to be precise. When you're not using the front camera the area shows a static clock but as soon as you launch the camera the transparency of the display goes to 0% and then it reveals the front camera 
This approach is very similar to the Oppo and Xiaomi, just a little bit advanced with the LED indicator and other sensors under the screen. Now, depending on the success of this, we might see it on the P40 Pro model. Again, if not this, then there will be a punch hole display on an OLED waterfall screen. This is something that is expected in the leaks and rumors, but Huawei can certainly surprise us. Again, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Would you give Huawei a chance if they launch a global flagship phone that can run both Android and Harmony OS as a dual boot OS. Drop your thoughts and it's time to pick up the winner for the iPhone 11 Pro. All right guys, thank you so much for entering the iPhone 11 Pro giveaway. Uh, we have 37,878 comments on this video, which is insane. Uh, again, guys, um, I really appreciate your love, your support, this is just uh, a small thank you for uh, for everything that you guys do for me. So I'm um, just waiting for comments to be completely loaded. And meanwhile, check out this view. It's looking really nice, beautiful Manchester city. And I think it's gonna take a, take a while. Quite a lot of comments, so I'll be back in a bit. All right guys, moment of truth, uh, all 37,944 comments are loaded it's time to pick the winner obviously randomly picking the winner and okay so winner is huge hyun oh my god so excited for the giveaway thank you already followed you all the rules that's your insta and twitter all right here is the comment and congratulations i'm just gonna reply you with the details and i'm going to pin this comment to the top of the video so huge hyun congratulations uh be sure to reply to my message which i'm going to do on your which i'm going to send on your instagram and twitter uh so yeah with that being said uh that's all for this hopefully there will be more prizes more exciting giveaways in the future so for those who didn't win it's okay it's fine there will be a lot more in the future so yeah i'll see you guys in the next one peace